So I've been using this guy all week and we're gonna be using him for loads and loads of exercises while we learn how to paint. So to start the series, what I want to do is do something that's really cool, which is tattoos. So let's just ink this guy up and I'll show you how in Nomad we can add some really cool tattoos. And in this case, as you can see, some mad spider effects. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might well have seen this guy quite a lot in the last few weeks because I've used him uh, for a number of projects and I'm going to do quite a few painting related videos um, painting mostly on the iPad with, with Nomad. So he's basically a, a sculpt that was done in Nomad based off Alfonso Geraldez's um, or Banshee's design. And what I did was I started and added all of his uh, battle damage. He's a, he's a cyborg as a character and he's got all this damage. But what we do is we add that damage on layers like this. So, and layers can either be um, colors or they can be um, uh, the shape of the geometry. And there's plenty of videos. I'll put a, a, a link up above to how you do layers in, in Nomad. So I can turn those layers off. So you can see this one here. This one's got the battle damage um, on his face. So if I zoom right in and I show you, you can take that away. And that's above everything else in the stack. So that would layer over the top on the model. Um, and then we can do browse down is actually a move rather than a, a paint. So we'll bring that back to the neutral. Eyes closed will bring back to neutral. The smile goes back so he gets that gaunt look. And then these are all things I did after I'd finished the sculpt. So there's a number four there on his chest, the tattoo, which is what we're going to look at, that kind of thing today. So we'll bring that back. And then we've got one called metal, and that's the metal on the left side here. So watch this metal disappear. And the, also the grooves in his body and his panelling have gone as well. And that's pretty much it. That last layer there was was a, a, a tried one where I made him much more like a kind of um, a vision sort of look. So I took his ears down and did a few different tests. Uh, so they've all gone now. And what we want to do is we want to add some tattoos of our own. So... Before we add the layers or start the tattoos, what we do is we need to make some tattoos. So we need to make some shapes that are black background with a white um, detail. So I'm gonna to switch to Procreate and we'll just quickly carry on with one that I'm making now and we'll use that one in this exercise. So here I am in Procreate. I've got a thousand by thousand or 1024 by 1024 canvas. It really doesn't matter what size. I've got a white image over the top of a black background and I'm just gonna carry on painting the white image. So anything that I do white is gonna be used in the either the stamps or it's gonna be used in the, the painting that you'll see once we get back into Noma. So you can just do, this is where you, your artistic skills come in now. So you just go, go crazy and you make your tattoo or your emblem or decal or whatever it is that you, however you want to describe it. And um, from there, we take this back in and use it in the stamps menu. So I'll just do a couple more things. And if you think this is something you want more, more lessons of, I'd like to start teaching Procreate, but I'd value your feedback down in the comments down, down below. I'm a 3D artist by trade, but obviously I, I grew up using or grew through in the industry using Photoshop and, and lots of 2D. And I also do concept art for like Netflix shows and you know games and TV shows. So um, I'd love to start teaching more than just um, the 3D. So if you think that's something that you'd be interested in, please let me know in the comments. Um, so there we go, we've got some nice shapes and they're all, this is in this instance, it's all just black and white. So when we've got that, we need to save it. So we can actually just save it to directly to where Nomad uses it. So if we just go to share, a JPEG is fine. Uh, and then we need to look in here and we need to look at um, files. So save to files. And in files, you, you go to your iPad and then to Nomad alphas. And then just save it in there. We can name it as well, which is, we'll just call it tattoo. Oh, oh, nine, because I happen to know that's a number that I want. And then we save it in there. Now, what you can't do is just jump straight into Nomad. You have to shut Nomad down and start it up again, which is what I'll do now. And then we'll jump back into Nomad. 
Okay, so we've rebooted Nomad, so the stamps have now arrived. So what does that mean? So if you've saved it in the correct folder, down here in the bottom right, wherever you've, whenever you've saved an image in that Nomad um, folder, you'll end up seeing it in here. So you can see ours is there. Oh, so we've got it. So what do we do with it? So we can select it, but how do we get it onto our model? So first of all, we need a new layer. So we start here and go add layer. And we'll call this one, we'll rename this one, and we'll call it um, new tat. Okay, so we've now got a layer with whatever we do on it. On it. So there's a couple of things we can do. Now, we only want to do tattoo, so you could use stamp, but that would give you, uh, it would affect the surface as well as the paint. So for today's lesson, we only want to just paint on it. We just literally want to paint that decal somewhere on this model so we choose paint and on, the, on because we've now chosen paint we now need to tell it what kind of paint so if we come over here and we say right we want we want a tattoo kind of color so bluey green would be the color i would want like so don't worry that the whole model is changing that's just a setting and it, it can be turned off if you need it so there's like a bluey green ink color and we'll take the metalness all the way down and we'll take the roughness all the way up. And that means it will be like much more like skin. So there's not much shininess, not more, not, not much glossiness in, in this model. Um, or in or in this paint, sorry, going on to the model. And now if we just painted now, let's just see what happens. So as you can see, that's just painted over the top of our painting. And that's obviously not going to be any use to us at the moment. If you wanted to do very specific tattoos, for example. You could cut them and roll the lighting around with three fingers, like so. If you want to do an eye tattoo and you want to be really specific, you can come in like this and just paint on the surface like so. And that that would be okay. But what you need to do is, is we, we've got a very specific tattoo we want to get on, so we have to do it slightly differently. So we'll just two finger undo on those. And before we do it, one other thing I want to mention is... Um, the resolution so this model at the moment if you come up here it's 2.7 million polygons so for this model uh, for this type of ipad this is this is the ipad uh, 2020 with six gig of ram you know a couple of million is nothing it, it can handle way 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 higher than that so that that's nothing at all and for programs like zbrush obviously it would be it would be nothing at all really so we're going to now paint on but we're not going to do it with a single stroke like that so we have to come up here into stroke and first of all, we, we normally change this profile here. So we could change it to more like a table, which would give us a flatter or, we, or a rounded table, that is. Or we could go custom, and we just go very high and very square. And what that'll do is give us nice square edges of our, of our image, which is exactly what we want. And then down below, change it from dot to grab dynamic radius. And now, basically, what happens is, with full intensity and paint on still if we just drag wherever we want it so let's say we wanted it on his chest we do that oh so what's happened there so what's happened is we've set the paint we're using the paintbrush we've set the stroke we've set that it's now a, a, a drag but what we haven't done is gone back and checked that the alpha is on so what it's giving us is a big white big white alpha and the other big thing to watch out and i did it deliberately honestly is that the erase is on. So what that's actually doing is instead of adding paint, it's erasing paint. So you're going to get that. You, it will be an error one way or another for you. So just be careful of those two things before you go into the, to the final one. So in your alpha, choose the one that we loaded in. You've got your paint right. You're not on erase. You've done your uh, fall off and you've definitely done that you're on grab and you were on paint anyway. So theoretically, we should get that now. And that's exactly how you had tattoos. So you can roll them around. You can't move them. You can't, once they're on, they're, they're static. So you can't put them on and then slide them around easily. Um, in fact, I don't think you can do it yet in Nomad. I, I could be wrong about that because I, I, I don't remember seeing how we would do that. Let's make the paint a little bit darker and do that last one. Get it up his neck like this. See how that went across his ear then? And it did go all the way around the back. So you can get some stunning effects with this. And let's do his eyes. Bring it round to his nose. 
And that's going to give you some lovely effects. It won't take you long to, you know, it's all about how well you painted these alphas. So I've downloaded a few here. So if you don't want to be bothered um, having a go at this yourself, then just download some black and white images. I'll turn symmetry off now, put something on his neck like that kind of very common symbol. There's a, a Punisher um, kind of black and white the skull so we could bring that and maybe put that on his eyes a bit lower maybe so you can see there you can really go to town with these and have some fun um you can even do text so if we're on his back if we do something like that's the tyrell corporation stamped on his back now and um, the world's your oyster really with with, with decals and, and tattoos you can literally go and just do um, anything you want so let's do a cat tattoo um, meow so you can really have some fun and just just basically add anything that you want using these kind of decals these are sci-fi decals that somebody uh, gave us um, and lots to play with there so that's how we would yeah, use it now with that one I actually deleted the, the, the layer for and then started a new layer with this. So we've got this layer here. And now you can see with a slider, you can do it on and off. So as I bring back the other sliders that I already had, that last layer that we did is going to be over the top. Not, not so much the ones like the eye closed and open, which moves or brow down. Um, but you can see the paint moving now with it. But remember, that's on the top, so it's quite good because now as the face deforms, you'll be able to see how how that face kind of reacts to the paint. And that's, that makes it quite a useful little tool as well. So have a go at that. Uh, post on our groups and on the forums any of your results and see what you can do. And don't forget the one thing that I did say to you at the start. If you just use stamp instead of using the paintbrush... Uh, so stamp, and then how do we do the settings? So stamp, same settings as before. We'll go quite high on the edges like that. Grab dynamic radius was, is already set on it. Um, and then you pick an alpha, so we'll pick this spider alpha. You've got the color and drag it on. And there you can see it's done you a stamp, so it's brought it right out. Now, what it didn't do is it didn't use the color there. So just, just go back, and the reason it didn't it's up here, it has to be enabled here on painting. So watch now, with a much lower intensity, you get a raised spider like that. So that, that's another way of using these um, alphas in the, in the same sort of way. But it gives you either a positive, or you can do this, which is super cool. Right on his forehead, we'll do a negative. And there you go, that's stamped right into his head. So you're getting the tattoo and you're getting the paint. So you're getting the paint from the tattoo or the ink and you're getting the um, the stamp into the surface as well. So like a brand or, or in this case, an indent. So go and have a go with that and have some fun. Thank you so much for looking at the video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a thumbs up would help us get in front of other people. If you're liking this kind of thing, then subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we're uploading new content. And don't forget, we've got plenty of other stuff over here, uh, either in the main channel or things that are relevant to this video. So take a look at what we've put there and see if it's useful to you.